Hello, Baron Dippin is here with another video for the board game shelf. Um, obviously, I'm talking about Munchkin uh, this time. So I debated whether or not I wanted to make a separate video for each version of Munchkin that we have. But ultimately, I decided I might as well just kind of go over all the versions because I'm probably not going to be talking at length about any one particular version. Um, so I have four boxes here, but we actually have more versions of Munchkin than just the four. It's just that I um, four boxes was how it was basically the best that I could do to combine all the versions that we have. So um, there's a lot. So yeah, Munchkin is probably one of the first, um, it, like I've played Munchkin for a long time. I was introduced to it in like college or something like that. And my gosh, I loved it a lot. I purchased, I got Munchkin, I got Super Munchkin, I got Munchkin Legends. And I, I even got like a holiday version of Munchkin. I pretty much kept all those versions of Munchkin and brought it into my own home after getting married. So here's normal Munchkin. And uh, in here we have a few different things. So there's actually three different things. There's normal Munchkin. I have Munchkin holiday and uh, the holiday version. And then uh, Game Changers, which I'll explain in a minute. Actually, I should explain what the basic premise of Munchkin is. So this game is called Munchkin because it's uh, invoking... The Munchkin was a, is a term in uh, from like old D and D days. Not that I was playing D and D back in the eighties or whatever, but um, Munchkin is a term in like old like it's not used as much anymore. But it was a term that was, that was used to refer to uh, Dungeons and Dragons players who just kind of didn't really care about like role playing or didn't care about the story or whatever. They just wanted to kick down doors, kill monsters, get loot, and that's it. Just like you know these these kind of like you know power gamers and stuff like that. And this this game just kind of there's just so much beautiful, like delightful charm and hilarity to all of it. Essentially, there are two different kinds of cards in Munchkin. There are door cards, and there are treasure cards. Um, each version of Munchkin is a little bit different, but that's, you know... Uh, basically, door cards will usually have things like curses and various monsters of different levels and stuff like that, right? And then uh, treasure cards will have, well, treasure, loot. Um, you know, stuff that lets you like go up a level and, and things like that. I wish I had, you know, I, I wish I had the time to like go over all the various cards because they're just so hilarious. Like, for example, convenient addition error, go up a level. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid and, and, and uh, just so silly and everything. But that's what I love about Munchkin. It's like the cards themselves are so delightful and have so many just like silly references and jokes in them and everything like that. Um, you may have noticed that some of those cards have, were, have been marked. Um, that's because um, I've had I've had this version of Munchkin for a long time, and uh, in you know in my house growing up, we uh, <clears throat> we definitely avoided certain words like like swear words and things like that. And so even like softer swear words, we sort of like edited, or even like there was a reference to drugs in there that we edited a little bit, uh, edited a bit. So that that was done like years and years ago. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so here's the holiday version. Uh, once again, there's two different kinds of cards. There's red cards and green cards. So that, yeah, door and treasure. Um, holiday munchkin can be basically added to any kind of munchkin to add a bit of holiday cheer, shall we say. And then game changers is essentially just like little things you can add. Like there's these dials to keep track of your levels. There's a like, um, there's a couple of just like extra little promo cards. There's uh, fairy, there's like some fairy uh, um, themed cards that you can add on. There's like a Munchkinomicon um, stuff and yeah, just like little things you can add on to uh, to a game. And yeah, each game of Munchkin has um, certain kind of like a dice or whatever. So these are the dice that came with Game Changers, these sparkly pink ones. Um, the You win in Munchkin when you, and by the way, the, this is uh, six, I believe. No, this is, a, this is a one right here. So yeah, you win in Munchkin when you reach level 10. And so you, and you, you go up a level by defeating monsters. And monsters, of course, get more and more difficult, and you can defeat difficult monsters by, you know, uh, equipping powerful items. And there's also, like, race and class cards as well um, that give you different bonuses and stuff. Um, even, like, even, there's even, like, uh, different bonuses for being different genders. Like, if you are actually a man or a woman, or, like, if you are actually male or female, then, like, you know, certain cards. There are just a couple of, just, like, one or two cards that, that care about that kind of thing. Um so, I mean, again, this game was made a good long while ago, in like the early 2000s. So, anyway, so, yeah, so I have normal Munchkin in here, like just, just standard, you know, adventure kind of stuff with Holiday and some, like, uh, like little add-ons and stuff, game changers. 
So, Super Munchkin, obviously superhero themed. Um, but also in here, I have Munchkin Apocalypse, which uh, has the has sort of an added sort of a, a mechanic of sort of like different kinds of apocalypses and stuff, right? But yeah, same thing. Door cards, treasure cards. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing I am a little bit... One thing, I, probably my only real disappointment with the Munchkin is that you generally need at least three players total. So it's not a game I play very much anymore because um, I just haven't, like, brought it to a lot of, like, board game board game nights. And my wife and I can't really, like, just play it ourselves unless we modify it somehow. Um, we have bought, brought Munchkin a couple of times. We have played, played it a, a few times. But since we have so many different versions, it's like... We usually end up playing only a couple of versions um, more than others. Munchkin Legends is basically kind of like more mythology or, or historical kind of like of a theme. And then we also have Munchkin Booty, which is the pirate one in here. So yeah, once again, we got... There's there's like an excess of, of pirate... of like There's like more pirate door cards for some reason. I don't know why. But they're kind of... They're on top of the treasure cards from Munchkin Legend in here. And then, of course... We have, uh, my wife was so stoked about getting this version of Munchkin, Nightmare Before Christmas. She's a huge fan of Tim Burton and Nightmare Before Christmas. I like it too, but she's even more of a fan. And uh, one, one cool thing about this is that the dice is actually modeled after Oogie Boogie's dice. So, um, yeah, this is probably like the best dice that we have in all of Munchkin. But again, door and treasure. And uh, yeah, again, different, uh, just different mechanics in each version of Munchkins. So those are the, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like Munchkin products, basically. Uh, six, uh, seven full games of Munchkin. Six or seven full games of Munchkin and like one or two like add-on sort of things. But yeah, um, I like it a lot. Munchkin is a lot of fun. Um, I feel like I should probably, I, I want to play it a little bit more often, but yeah, um, there is so much Munchkin out there. Like, this is not even scratching the surface of the Munchkin stuff that's out there. There's like seven. There's like seven different sets of like normal Munchkin, and there's you know obviously we, you see superhero, you see pirate, you see Nightmare Before Christmas. There's Marvel. There's I think there's like a Witcher Munchkin. There's Munchkin for um, <clears throat> let's see, Munchkin in space, Munchkin. I don't know Dracula. Of, of Munchkin zombies, Munchkin like spies, like James Bond type thing. Like literally, you name a general genre, there's a Munchkin game for that. You name a large IP, there's probably a Munchkin game for that. There's a Munchkin game for everybody out there, and there's also all sorts of like smaller products too, like little little add-on things you can you can have. Yeah, it's crazy. Every anytime I go to a board game store, there's always a Munchkin section. There's always something for Munchkin, even though Munchkin's been around for so long. But yeah, um, yeah, I've had yeah, had some of these versions of Munchkin for a very long time, like probably like half, like close to uh, like close to a, a third to a half of my life at this point. <laughs> um, I love this game; it's fantastic. So. Anyway, um, I don't know if we're going to get more versions of Munchkin. Like, we're pretty satisfied with what we have. So I don't see our Munchkin collection growing. But, um, yeah, who knows? Um, we, Our board game interest, as far as, like, buying things goes, has been, like, more in other directions. But, like, we're, again, we're, we're very, my wife and I are very happy with what we have here. Especially, like, Munchkin, I remember, for Christmas. And, like, you know, these different iterations of, of Munchkin that have been around for a while. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, all the best.